hello youtube welcome to a new video today we are going to talk about how to use lasso tool in photoshop make sure you watch the video to the end because i'm going to show you guys some tips and why i believe every photographer should know how to use lasso tool in photoshop so without any further ado let's jump into the video so for you to navigate to your lasso tool all you need to do is come over here so if you double click and hold you notice you have other options under your lasso tool you have the lasso tool itself and then you have the polygonal lasso tool and then the magnetic lasso tool so let's talk about them one by one let's begin with the lasso tool so for the lasso tool how it works is this it allows you to uh, draw and make selection flexibly over whatever you want to make a selection of and then if you come over again the second option we are having is the uh, polygonal lasso tool so how polygonal lasso tool works is it makes a uh, selection in straight line from one point to another so as you can see you can make selection by clicking from one point and it will move in straight line to another point as you can see and then you end your selection so basically that's how the uh, polygonal lasso tool works let's do command or control d and then for the third option we are having is the magnetic so how magnetic work is it uh makes selection by detecting sharp edges for example we want to make a selection of this hand all we need to do is just go over and select our uh, magnetic lasso tool and then we move around the sharp edges of the hand and then we click and start moving just around the hand and magnetic lasso tool will do its job and make selection on the sharp edges it can detect around the hand as you can see as you can see all right let me cut it so uh, basically that's how the magnetic lasso to work so now that you know there are differences what you understand is above here is their settings let's say for example you are selecting the uh, normal lasso tool so if you are selecting the first option above here it means you are making selection but if you are still selecting it it means the next selection you are making you are saying hey lasso tool discard or delete or erase the previous selection and making a new one so the moment you start uh, making the next selection notice the previous one uh, has gone and then you are making a new one so that's how uh, uh that's what this first option means and if you are selecting the second option it means you are adding to the current selection so the moment you start uh making uh, the next selection it will maintain the first one and add to it for example as you can see we are adding to the pre uh, pre uh, previous selection as you can see and then uh, for the uh, third option it means you are subtracting from the current selection so the moment we start subtracting you can see sorry the moment you start subtracting you can see we are erasing the previous selection as you can see as you can see so that's what it means by the uh, third option and then for the fourth option it means you are intersecting for example you are having this first selection so if you draw another selection on it it means you are erasing everything but leaving the center of your selection so if i let go my click you notice every other area is gone only the center or the middle of my selection is left behind all right let's do command or control d to the select and some very handy shortcuts you should know here uh, let's say for example you are on your uh, lasso tool and you are on your new selection option and you happen to make a selection for example and you decided you want to add o, uh, or minus from your selection not necessarily you must come over here and select the uh, add option or minus option so you can just simply hold shift to add and then you add to your selection as you can see and if you want to minus you should just let go the shift and hold alt and then you minus from your selection as you can see and if you are on your uh, add option then you should just hold alt to minus alt to minus and then if you are on your uh, subtract then you just hold shift if you want to add to your selection 
as you can see or at least you control command D to deselect and then uh, something else you should know is uh, let's say for example you are selecting this area and you want to invert which means to deselect the cycle and select all the areas opposite of the cycle all you need to do is just to press your command or control then shift and then you press i which means you are no longer selecting the cycle you are now selecting all areas that are not the cycle all right now that we know a little or we know uh this much about the lasso tool let's say for example you are editing this particular image let's do command or control d to the select and let's say for example you want to re uh change the background all you need to do is just go over for uh, to your lasso tool and then you start making selection over your subject looking at the subject you just need to look and analyze which of the option you are having under your lasso tool that would be preferable to use or to start using for the particular image you are trying to remove it background so for this image for example as for me if i'm going to edit this image and remove it background all i will do is i will start by using my magnetic lasso tool since we are having like some well pronounced edges on the image then i would just zoom in and then i make sure i'm on my magnetic lasso tool and then i start uh selecting my subject as you can see as you can see but not necessarily you must use your uh magnetic lasso tool as in throughout editing oh um, sorry throughout selecting your your image because there are some areas that may not be having sharp edges so if you are on those kind of areas what you need to do is just switch from magnetic to another different option you are having and then something again you should understand it's not necessarily you must start selecting and then you must go all around and stop from where you started you can do it segmentally you can start from where i started on on her hand and then you just go around and say all right let me first start selecting the area of the head as you can see we are perfectly selecting our subject using the magnetic lasso tool and then we stop at where we started as you can see you have already made a selection of the head and then maybe these areas that are not having that uh, sharp edges like the areas which we have already selected you can just decide all right let me just switch from my magnetic to lasso tool and then i make sure on my minus and then i remove these particular areas for example as you can see and then i circle and remove the areas and then i look at the uh down part of the image and see which of the option will fit and then i will just go back to my magnetic since we are having uh sharp edges again you continue selecting just and then this area that i think there is some error then i can decide or right, let me check which of the option i'm having that can fix this error or right, let me use polygonal and then i make sure i'm on my add option and then i add this particular area as you can see then i zoom out again and then i look and see what option or what step do i need to take all right to at least uh try and make the video to be not that long i have already made a selection and save let me press command or control d to deselect and then i over to my select load selection and then i go to the select subject which i have uh, made and saved to uh make the uh to compress the length of the video so let's say for example you took your time and make a proper selection like this and then you want to sub uh, separate the subject from the background all you need to do is just to press uh, to press command or control j and duplicate your subject so if we disable the layer below notice we are only having our subject without the background or oh, let's do command or control z or oh, we can say let's just add layer mask and then we are good again our subject is fully separated from the background so if we just go to let's say for example uh 
adjustment option and then we select on the solid color you can just simply add uh, any cell, uh, solid color and place it below our subject as you can see we have fully separated our image from uh, from the background we can decide any color of background we want to apply on the background as you can see not only changing background you can do a lot let's say for example uh we we uh load our selection which i've already made we can just easily uh be like let's tweak the color of our model then we go over to our to our adjustment option and then we head over to our hue and saturation and then we can just tweak on the color of our model and if you want to uh tweak the color of the background as i have told you you can just invert the selection by pressing command shift i now we are selecting the background instead of the model and then we can just go over go over to our hue and saturation and then we can tweak the color of the background we can desaturate it as you can see we can add more saturation and play around with our color or we can let me let me see the other images we can see let's say for example i don't want the color of this uh particular flower she is uh uh on her on her clothes we can just simply go over and zoom the flower and then we look at our option let's say we use magnetic it's always handy if you are having uh sharp edges then we head then we uh, select over our flower so after we make our selection we can just simply go to our adjustment options and then we select our hue and saturation and then we can just simply play with our hue and saturation let me zoom out as you can see which means we are just targeting the flower and adjusting the color of the flower as you can see and then choose if you want to desaturate the flower we can take down our saturation and then let me see which image are we having again let me uh take a look at this particular image let's say for example we want to do uh content aware to this image using our selections we can just simply go to our polygonal select this frame as you can see and then we just right click and then we just right click sorry and then we go to fill and then we hit our content aware as you can see just we, then we just do command or control d to the select or let's say for example we want to change the color of the flow we can just head over to our lasso tool polygonal and make selection over the flow as you can see we don't have issue with these blacks blacks are not having color just let me zoom we select the flow as you can see then we zoom out and then we just go over to our hue and saturation and select it and then we tweak we desaturate we increase the saturation if you don't want it uh, it uh, current color we can play with our hue and tweak the color of the flow independently using our lasso tool so uh, basically that's it about lasso tool if you like the video please don't forget to subscribe and like the video as it makes a huge difference in supporting the channel let's meet in another video